Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a Master Lock Model 187XD. This is the slightly larger version of the Model 185D. Um, from what it looks to be, same exact security. And uh, so that means four pins and no security pins. So let's go ahead and get in here. And get the sucker open real quick. We already had a click on two. That was a click on one. Three. Oh, there's our open. So very simple, very quick, easy open. We're going to go ahead and I do have a key for it. Turn it back. And we are going to actually, I should have left it open. We're going to take this off because we are actually going to cut this. This is not a lock that is normally guttable, but I did take it apart to make it so. So we're taking off the weather protector here. You can see that exposes the screws here. And now we are going to take it apart. So there are just four pins, two on each side of the body here. So I just knocked those out, drilled those out, and replaced them with some bolts. Everything else comes apart nicely. So if you're curious about doing it yourself, it's just these four pins. After that, I just pull those right out. One already fell out. There we go. Four. We're going to move these to the side so we don't lose them. And now we just pull the sides apart like this. It's like we're opening a fruit of sort. There we go. One side. And be careful now, because this is a plate that comes off, and on the back, this is another plate that comes off. So hold these right here. I'll try to get this last one off here. There we go. All right, and so now we have, in fact, we're gonna flip it over so we don't lose our shackle first. So you can see our, we'll go ahead and take our plate protector off here. That exposes the inside here. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit, make it easier. So, in fact, before we do that, let's put this on and demonstrate with the key. Turn it to the side here. So these gears right here grip into the gears right here that are latched. So this is part of the core that connects to the, get this to focus, the back of the core here connects to this metal piece with this uh, these teeth on it. These teeth move the teeth up here, which you can see is embedded in the shackle. That's what makes the shackle move. So let's demonstrate that real quick. Go ahead and put that in there. Oh, without losing our shackle, there we go. And so we can turn it like that. But you can see without the actual plate on it, it moves around quite a bit. So there we go, we're gonna take that out. So yeah, let's go ahead and take our plate off here. Let's see if we can demo that again with that plate off. It was a little difficult trying to hold everything together here, but... Okay, so yeah, it's turning, but because we don't have that plate holding it still, it's not gripping in those teeth right there. There we go. Just like that. Oh, and now our entire core is moving. But you get the, you get the principle there, so let's go ahead and get our key out, move this back, let's take it apart. And so again, yeah, the back of our core this fits right into there like that and so when the key turns trying to figure out a way to hold it there a little difficult to hold this that there we go so when the key turns you can see it moves that right there it moves the teeth which grip on to we take our shackle off now this plate right here that has the teeth below it. You can see that right there. And you can see that little notch right there that the shackle groove fits on. Just like that. And then of course our shackle is spring. We've got our spring loaded right here. You can see that the, oh, here we go. Sorry about that. 
I got the spring right here that loads it. You can see it's off right now because our shackle came off. So I need to reset that. And just get it like right back in that metal piece correctly. There we go. Like that. And actually, how am I at it? Do I have it? Go back. There we go. Push it in. There we go. Now our shackle's back on. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So to put it back together, I would put that back on the back right there. This core would be right here because that plate, this bottom plate has a little spot for the Bible to fit in. You can see it right there. So it nestles nicely right there. And then this spot would go, oh, I guess you'd have to put this in first like that. There we go. Then we put our core back in. There we go. And then the plate on the end there. Hold it all together. Then the plate on the front, the back part here to hold it and hold that part together. And is it all together? It is. It's just a a big wobbly mess so <laughs> it doesn't feel that that put together but now that those plates are on oh yeah because it there we go now that those plates are on we can see that it will move so now I just need to put the um, the rest of it together and uh, yeah put it back with the uh, or put it with the rest of the locks that I have that weren't guttable that have become guttable so I hope you found this interesting. If you find any locks like this, I encourage you to take them apart because there's not a whole lot of videos of just, you know, different locks like these that are gut not guttable, but are pretty easy to take apart and aren't too expensive. Four pins, all standard, match lock 187XD. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.